What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to the channel. Hope this is not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but in case it is, I am a third year medical student studying King's College London and I'm making this video to tell you guys a bit about how you should answer the station, why did you choose this university? Before I start the video, I want to make three points. The first point is that I've made a whole series of videos on the MMI process, on how to prepare for the MMI, so go check those out after this video. The second thing is that I actually give online mock interviews for medicine, so if you do want to arrange a one-to-one -one interview with me where I tailor the interview and give you feedback on your performance over Skype, head over to my website, all the information is on there, and hopefully I can help you guys out even further. The last point I want to make is to leave a comment down below of any kind of suggestions of any videos you want me to do in the future. Uh, I'm really open to sitting down and making loads of these videos. So let me know if you have any suggestions of any videos that I should make. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this station is about why you chose to apply to this university. When you're at the station, you really, really want to convince the interviewer that you know exactly why you chose to go to this medical school. You want to convince them that this medical school is for you and that you literally were born on this earth to go to this medical school. So there are a few key things that you should know. Um, the first thing is the course structure. Medicine obviously is um, a long degree. My course is five years. So for example, if I was speaking about Kings, I want to tell them that I know exactly how the course is structured. I know it's divided into three stages. So stage one is year one, stage two is year two and three, and stage three is year four and five. I know that um, clinical placements start from second year and you're in the hospital one day a week and a GP one day a week. In third year, I know that you go on to placements uh, two days a week in hospital and one, one day of the week in, um, in mental health. And lastly, I know in years four and five, you're pretty much on the wards uh, for the whole five days. So you wanna know exactly how the course is structured. And this can be done by going onto Google, going onto the university website and having a look at exactly how it's structured. Second thing you want to know is what hospitals is the medical school attached to. So what I would say for Kings, for example, is that it's GKT. So as you can see on my lanyard, it's GKT, which stands for Guys, St. Thomas's and Kings College Hospital. These are the three medical schools that make up Kings. And I also know that as well as these three hospitals, we also have Lewisham uh, and the Queen Elizabeth Hospital as well. You also want to know why exactly these hospitals are really important. Um, maybe some good uh, pros and cons of each hospital. So again, they know exactly why you want to study and do your placements at this medical school. The next thing you want to know is the sort of teaching style that the medical school does. The various types of uh, teaching styles, there's problem-based learning, there is your typical um, lecture-based learning, there's small group teaching sessions, there's seminars, there's self-directed online learning, there's hospital teaching. There's loads of different ways that medical schools teach. So for example, at King's, we have normal lecture-based structure. We also have a set small group teaching sessions as well. And we also have dissections as well. So it really is important to know exactly how these medical schools teach you. And again, this can be done by going onto the website and having a look there. The next thing you want to know is the support systems that are available in the university. You want to know that if you have a problem, where would you go to? For example, in King's, we have a personal tutor system where you're paired to a personal tutor. We have educational supervisors who look after us um, academically. We also have um, some mental health support systems. You want to know exactly what systems are in place to help students perform best, especially in medical school where it's such a stressful degree and statistically one in two students uh, suffer from a mental illness. It really is important to know what support systems are available for you guys. You also want to know whether or not this is a roster group university. Roster groups are obviously the best universities in terms of research in the country. You also want to know uh, what sort of research is going on in the medical school. For example, in Birmingham, I knew there was an institute of biomedical research where all of the research takes place. I know at King's, there's a number of different research facilities that are available. For example, all of the labs are in Guy's Hospital. I know there's loads of um, teaching places in King's College Hospital. I know there's New Hunt's House where there's loads of different labs as well. You want to know exactly what research is going on in the university. Maybe also some Nobel Prize winners, uh, some notable alumni that have left the university. Maybe also the most recent kind of breakthroughs that have come from the university research. It really is important to know all of this stuff. Apart from academics, you also want to know about what sort of um, extracurriculars are going on in the university, what sort of societies they are. You want to show that you are a well-rounded person and that you've taken the time to actually look into these things. For example, at King's College, I know there is the GKT sports teams, which do all kinds of sports that you can be engaged in. I know that there's also the King sports teams. We also have the Medical School Association, which has a number of different societies that we can attend. It might be also useful to mention some sports teams you want to join, um, some societies you may be interested in joining. Maybe there's a particular society that you want to start as well. Also in Birmingham, for example, they had MedSoc, which was a whole group of societies that were available for the students. 
You want to really convince them that you know you're a well-rounded person and that you've actually taken the time to look into these things and that you want to add to the university, not just academically, but also in your extracurriculars as well. You want to also know about the city that you're going to live in. So for example, the Kings, I want to say uh, why I love London. Uh, maybe there's a particular sports team that I want, that I support and I want to come and watch. You know, there's three different airports in London. It's very multicultural. It's very diverse. So you'll also be able to see a range of diseases that you will not see anywhere else in the country. Some of the best hospitals are also in London. For example, uh, Chelsea Westminster, Guy's Hospital, St. Thomas's Hospital. Loads of research is based in London. There's a hundred different reasons as to why I applied to study medical school in London. And you also need to know this as well for your city. Make sure you know the city very well, the hospitals that are around, and have a good few reasons as to why you'll be okay and you really want to live in the city for the next five years. Lastly, you also want to know the history of the medical school. This really will gain you some brownie points, knowing when the medical school was established. So for example, in King's, I know that um, the medical school is made up of three medical schools historically. King's used to be divided into Guy's Medical School, St. Thomas's Medical School, and King's College Hospital Medical School. Then all of these three medical schools then combined in, okay, I can't remember the exact year, but the three medical schools combined to form GKT Medical School as part of the University of King's College London. It has an extensive history. So go onto Wikipedia, go onto Google, and find out exactly what, you know, when the, when the medical school was established, how it was established, and what made it the medical school that it is today. So this is really a brief video to tell you guys, you know, all the little things you need to be aware of. And hopefully it's giving you some idea about the things that you need to go sit down and research about the university to prepare for that one question of why exactly you want to study here. I also made a video earlier on this year where I got a few of my um, friends in medical school to answer why they chose to study at King's College London and also why they chose to study medicine. So go ahead and check those videos out. I hope this video has been really helpful for you guys, has been informative in some sort of way. If you have any questions at all about this, this topic, please feel free to comment down below. And if you have any suggestions of any further videos that you would like me to make, please leave a comment down below as well. Make sure you've subscribed, like the video, do all of that stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next MMI video.